There's a new name in Greater Boston for those who volunteer. It's called Give Back Time. Whether you volunteer consistently or you're just starting out, givebacktime.org is the place for you. Find local opportunities and connect directly with the nonprofits you want to support. Sign up electronically for times to volunteer with your favorite nonprofits. Keep track of your service hours and details for your records or to share with your friends and family. At Give Back Time, we understand that you want to make a difference in the world. And we've created the perfect place for you to make that happen. Oh, and the best part is, it's completely free. Give Back Time, serving those who wish to serve. Welcome to the second episode of Give Back Time's Nonprofit Highlight. I'm Jared Blake, and today I'm excited to bring you along with me as I spend a day with a forward-thinking adult daycare program run by New Path in Woburn, Massachusetts. I hope you have nowhere to go for the next 15 minutes because you will not be able to stop watching the wonderful things that I experience while hanging out with these guys. We're ready. We're good to go. All right, cool. Yeah, I already checked it Everybody wait for the camera. Go to the Immediately upon meeting this group of fellas, I could tell Brian was going to be my buddy. The group is so diverse in the challenges they face, and because of this, I quickly realized that some of these gentlemen are a bit on the quiet side. Brian was not one of them, though. In under three seconds, and I am not exaggerating, he got me to smile, and I just had this underlying happiness and excitement about the day ahead. That's right, so we want to make sure we call 911 each time we have an emergency, okay? But we never want to play with 911, right? The beginning of our day started at the Winchester Firehouse. I want to send a quick thank you to the Fire Chief John Nash Jr. and his crew. Yes? Yes? Okay. So you guys are here because you want to see our fire trucks today, right? The tour started with a quick safety lesson. Well, you know what they say, safety first. But it was certainly quick because it was very clear that the real reason for our visit was to check out the fire trucks. Now, New Path has created a new program for some of their more high-functioning members, where they're taken out on field trips during the week by chaperones to various locations throughout the Metro Boston area. The idea is to enrich the lives of their clientele while giving them the opportunity to grow through building relationships in the community and learning through experiential opportunities. I watched in awe as New Path chaperones, Mike and Ken, paid such close attention to the varying needs that each member of their group warranted. Now, let me tell you, these guys are living saints. Working with the demographic that these two work with can present its fair share of challenges, but you would never be able to tell that they felt that way. Now, on the contrary, it was blatantly obvious that they love their jobs and they love these guys as well. In case you haven't noticed, this tour was a fully immersive experience for these guys. They got to sit in the trucks, wear the gear, turn on the lights, the whole gambit. Not only do these experiences give them an opportunity to see different parts of our world, but they're used as a launching pad for later conversations and dialogue and group activities that reap residual benefits throughout the following years. As the men in these groups age and grow, 
The positive interactions and experiences that they have at places like the firehouse cultivate a more active and developed group setting when they're just hanging out with each other. Hey, you. you want to go sit up in one of these seats and see what it's like? Hey, get up there. Yes. That's where we go when we put our uh, tanks on. Mickey. There you go, watch. Yep, we put them on, and that's what lets us breathe when we're in there with the smoke and the, the hot, hot fire. So, have you ever ridden backwards before? You see how we turn around? No? It takes a little bit to get used to. Hey, what, what, you got? What, you got? what you got, man? Oh, oh my God. Look at this, dude. <laughs> They say it's the little things in life that really make us happy. And I would be lying if I said that I wasn't brought a boatload of joy just by watching how excited these guys were at sitting in the trucks and learning about how they worked. Within just a few minutes, I really started to admire Mike and Ken and the work that they do to bring these guys the happiness that they get to experience on these outings. Over here, look. You look so handsome, Dave. You look like a fireman. There you go. Oh, man, right. show, him, show, him, show, him, show him, show him, show him, show him, show him. Jeez. Yes, <laughs> you look handsome. Jeez. Yes, you Jeez. are awesome. You've been practicing. Good job. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> Johnny, come on. Let's see you put it on. Johnny, you got to be strong, man. That's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Now, yeah. why? Because it's all fireproof? Uh, yeah, it's all like double layers fireproof. You go with the hat, man. Wow. Look at you. Wow. You like to see the ambulance? That is so awesome. What do you think? You like it? Wait, is it heavy? <laughs> part of the underlying theme of the program is to help the member of the program feel included and part of a community. I might make this point multiple times throughout the show, but it was amazing to watch Ken and Mike, masters of their craft, balance the different needs of their groups successfully in order to make sure each and every single one of them felt included and part of the group. There's an intrinsic sense of selflessness that I experienced while filming this episode, and I would be remiss not to mention it. God, you're gonna go home singing that. Come on, man. You wanna commit? Come sit. Okay, guys. Slide down. James, slide down. There you go. Good job. Perfect. Have a seat. Relax. Pretty cool, huh? I'm step out, you get a better picture. Yeah, it works. Excuse me. What do you think? Isn't this exciting? Yeah. It is, isn't it? We will hear more from Kerry Sullivan later, but just as a short intro, let me tell you a little bit about her. Ken brings his group to Dunkin' Donuts in Lexington each morning, and as they have become more of a staple there, the group has made friends with her. She was just a regular customer and started to chat every now and then with them. And exactly as the program intended, these guys became friends with her and she with them. Now, Kerry isn't paid and she doesn't even consider herself a volunteer. She considers herself a friend, and when she can, she takes time off of work and travels with them during their field trips simply as a friend. It's just such a wonderful product of this whole program for these guys. Oh, that is spectacular. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I was lucky enough to be invited to lunch, and so I took the opportunity to sit down and talk more with Ken and Kerry.
okay, sweetheart? Uh, all right. You got the whole area. Wow, yeah. thank you, Darlene. Hi, my name is Ken Sinobaldi. I work at a company called New Path. One of our connections is a Kerry Sullivan. My God, she is the poster child of the program. Uh, we started out at a Dunkin' Donuts about nine months ago. After seeing Kerry come in every morning, we started engaging in small talk. Hi, how are you? Uh, nice seeing you. And over time, we've made such a friendship and, and for these guys, that's something they've never had. Uh, they have staff members who are paid to be with them, uh, but these are people in the community that come over and see them and genuinely care about them on their own. It's amazing what we get from the community, the, the, uh, the feeling of love, the feeling of inclusion, which is what this program is all about. Hi, I'm Carrie Sullivan. And I met my friends David, Jonathan, and James at Dunkin' Donuts in Lexington. And I met them approximately a year ago when, I'm not sure if it was David or James, asked if I would buy them a cup of coffee. And the rest is history. I saw them there every day um, for the last year. And we have breakfast every morning together, right? And we have done, oh, I should slow down. You're right, James. That's what we always say in the morning. We should slow down. And um, they became basically my friends that I enjoy at Dunkin' Donuts. And we've done some amazing activities together. We've gone to Edaville Railroad. And we have gone to um, the Lynn District Courthouse and the Winchester Fire Station. And they definitely add a very... Um, a, a moment of levity every day to my, I have a very stressful job, so I enjoy spending a lot of time with my friends that I met in Lexington. And that's how I became involved with New Pass. And now every morning we look forward to seeing her. If she's not there, we're worried. My guys are asking, where's Kerry? If we're not there, Kerry's calling, saying what's up with us. It's, it's amazing. And what's come out of that is, is not only a friendship, I, I think a bond. Um, my guys ask for it. It's a love. It's a connection. That's what this whole program is all about. The connections we are making with people in the community. It, it transcends uh, staff relationships, uh, uh, jobs. It's something these guys, I think, are starved for and, and really don't know anything about. Uh, but over time, we've seen uh, Edaville Railroad We've met a judge. We've been in the judge's chambers. Today we're eating in a restaurant. We just came from the Winchester Fire Department. We've been to Hanscom Air Force Base. Uh, we've seen uh, the pilots. We've met the fire chiefs there. It's unbelievable. And I think my guys, in just a short nine month period, have grown leaps and bounds. It's not all about them anymore. It's all about the community, the, their friends, seeing their friends. Now bouncing all the way back to Carrie for a second, we just had our walk. Carrie brought her mom, her husband, her two children to participate. It's, it's, it's friends telling friends about us and, and getting in, them involved with us. It, it's priceless. It, it's, it's an amazing program and I look forward to when all our individuals can be out there and enjoying this. I, I personally think it's a wonderful program that they're involved in and I love to see them out and about in the community and they've made so many friends in Lexington ever since we started our little breakfast group that it just warms my heart um, at how welcoming people are but they don't know about programs like New Path. And so if they're exposed to it, it creates interest and it just creates so many more opportunities for these individuals to engage in the community which is so important. Well, you spent another quarter of an hour glimpsing into the life of another wonderful nonprofit serving those in need. I hope these small tidbits on New Path and other nonprofits provide you, the viewer, with an opportunity to truly see the wonderful things these organizations do for the needy, the homebound, sick, and the marginalized within the communities that we all live in. As the old adage goes, it takes a village. And so, if you would like to do your part and volunteer with a wonderful nonprofit like New Path, please visit GiveBackTime.org. And to learn more about New Path and their programs, feel free to go to newpathinc.org. That's N-U-P-A-T-H-I-N-C dot O-R-G. And until next time, happy volunteering. Hey, you want Jared at the Salvation Army, remember? Yeah. Right, Jared? You're the caboose.